in my videos it's kind of starting to annoy me but hi welcome back I am doing once again another Kmart haul so excited um, I've got more makeup in this one with other things as well but I usually don't buy too much makeup from Kmart but I have got a few makeup products to show you because I am planning to film a makeup or a video dedicated to all Kmart makeup. If you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to like the video as well and I'm just going to get straight into the Kmart haul because that is what you are most likely here for. The first thing I'm going to show you in this haul is this little black vase and I picked this up actually the other day. Um, it's called the Haley Vase or Haley Vase. So it's just a little black one. I thought it would go really nicely on my shelves, as you can see here. And they're usually in the background of my videos that I film. It's not a solid color, so it is a little bit see-through when you put it up to light. That is the first thing that I got from Kmart. The next thing that I got is this little daily planner. I got this the other day. It was only $2, so I thought, why not? I've honestly got so many like to-do lists and different notebooks that I could use rather than random other things like this. The next thing I got is actually another notebook. This is called Planner Notebook. Now this is actually a to-do list if I'm correct. I love like the colours of it. So it's like a greeny grey colour and then rose gold spiral which is so pretty. I love the colours. Um, but yeah, it's literally a to another to-do list. So pretty much it's just a bunch of like different pages. They're all the same on to-do lists. I have this basket full of stuff. I got these baskets from Kmart, which I'll show you soon. But I'm just going to go through this randomly. I'm going to show you kind of makeup, skincare, face kind of things first, if it's possible, because there's so much in here. So the first two things I got are these OXX Studio Longwear Matte Foundations, and I got the shades Swan and Honey. So it's a light and dark shade, because I'm not too sure what shade I was, so I just picked up a light shade and a dark shade and I can mix them together. So I got those, they were about $6 or $7 each. The next makeup thing I got was this OXX Studio Ultra Coverage Concealer in the shade Nude. This was the lightest shade I could find except for, actually no, there was like a white or porcelain shade. It was so light though, so I didn't get that. But this one looks pretty close, it's in the shade Nude. The next item that I got is this OXX Studio Natural finish setting spray. I'm not going to try any of the makeup out just because I want to try it all in a video that I'm filming coming up. Um, it is a trying Kmart makeup video or a Kmart makeup tutorial, that kind of thing. So I want to save all of these makeup products for that video. So yeah, I got that. The next item that I got is this OXX Bloom Translucent Powder. I'm going to open this up to see what it looks like on the inside. So the packaging of this is so sleek though. And it says on the bottom, OXX Bloom Translucent Powder. Flawless Finish Mattifying Longwear. Doesn't really look translucent, but I bet it probably is. Whoa, okay, that's weird. It's like a dome. All of this makeup is pretty cheap as well, keep that in mind. So I got this to try out in a video coming up. I also got this OXX Bloom Marbled Highlighter, Sheer Finish Silky Smooth. This is in the shade Chrome. So I'm guessing that it will be more of a gold highlighter. It looks so pretty. And then I also got this OXX Bloom Marbled Blush. And it's in the shade Apricot Glow. I actually want to go back and get another one of these. They had like a really bright pink one, which I am loving blush at the moment, so I really want to try that 
and see how it goes. But I got Apricot Glow Blush and Chrome Highlighter. I also got this. These are a few e.l.f. products, so it's not the OXX brand, but I'm so excited to try this out. This is the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter in the shade White Gold. It doesn't look like a white gold. It looks like a gold, but it looks so pretty. So I'm actually going to swatch this one. Okay, so that's what it looks like on my finger. Looks so pretty. This highlighter isn't too strong, which is a good thing, so it's not too in your face, but it is a really pretty colour, and for me, this would be like an everyday highlighter because it's not too much. The last two makeup items, I got these e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. This one is in the shade Disco Queen, and this one is in the shade Flirty Birdie. <laughs> I like that name, that's a cute name. I'm pretty sure these are new for e.l.f. because I've never ever seen these before. I am in love with the packaging. So pretty. So this is a blue kind of silver and this is more of a rosy gold. Ooh, it's not as, oh, that's so small. I thought this would be way longer. But anyway, um, this one is Disco Queen. The packaging is really cute. I love like the white lid. I'm going to swatch this. Um, okay. So that is with two coats. So it's a lot better than one coat. But I think these would be really pretty for like on the lid. So that one is Disco Queen. This one is so pretty. So this is Flirty Birdie. Don't know if you can see it too well. But it's so pretty. The next couple items are like skincare. It's not really too much. Oh, I got this lip balm. Um, it was only like $2 or something. So I just picked it up. I use Carmex, but I thought I would try this one. So it is the Lip Care Lip Balm with Shea Butter or She Butter. And it's for intense hydration. I also got this Nivea Refreshingly Soft Moisturising Cream. This is the moisturiser that I've been using at the moment. I've mentioned this and bought this before in other Kmart hauls. So if you aren't new, this is the moisturiser I use. It's really cheap. I think it's something like $3 or $4. So yeah, it's a really good moisturiser as well. You can use it as a hand cream, as a body cream, face cream. You can really use it for anything, but I use it for my face, so. The last kind of like skincare things that I got were these here. I think they were on sale for $1, if I can remember correctly. These are Peel Off Charcoal and Avocado Masks. I've been looking for like masks that I can put on like on my chin, here, my nose and like top of my lip to remove whiteheads, blackheads, that kind of thing. So I found these, thought I'd buy a couple and try them out. But they do come with a step one, a gel cleanser at the top, which I don't think I'll use, but it comes with step two, which is the peel off mask. The next thing I got was this perfume. I think this was $4. I use a Victoria's Secret perfumes for school, just to like, well, body mist. To just spray all over myself for school um, and I'm almost run out of that one and I could not be bothered to go searching for a Victoria's Secret one so I found this one at Kmart and I think it smells really good I smelled it in the store but this one is pomegranate rouge fragrance mist it's got musk jasmine and pomegranate and the packaging is really cute so I'm gonna spray it on myself actually no I'm gonna spray it on my hand Oh, that smells really good. I'm really surprised by this. It smells so good. The next thing I got are these Enco 15 Clear Hair Hoops. I use normal headbands, but they do leave a dip in my hair. So I thought I'd try these out. Apparently, you put it in hot water as well once you've used them a few times and they get really big and it shrinks them up again. The next thing I got were these little earrings. I always have to buy some sort of earrings from Kmart when I go there. These were $4 and they are little gold coins, if you can see that. 
with little mini pearls. So as you can tell, these ones are from Kmart. Gold with pearls. <laughs> what a coincidence. So I got those. The next thing I got is this little double wall insulated bottle with handle. It's really pretty too. I love the pattern on it and the colours. It says it keeps things in here hot for up to six hours and things cold for up to six hours. So like if you put some ice in here, your water will be freezing cold for so long. The next thing I got is some ink for my printer. My printer is from Kmart. It's a Canon printer. I'm not too sure the name of it, but I just got some more ink for it. So that's pretty fun. The next thing I got is this hashtag on stand. So it's like a marble stand with a black hashtag. So I thought it would go in here out really, really well. Honestly, I think I'm buying a bit too much of things that aren't really necessary. Like this probably isn't necessary. And when I bought this, I totally forgot about this. So we'll sort something out over there. But I got this. I thought it was super cute and would suit the room really well. The next thing I got, I got two of these. These are blackboard baskets. I got these for a little shelf I have over there underneath that whiteboard you can see. Um, but I got two of those for the bottom shelf of that little shelf. It's little chalkboard ones so I could buy like some coloured chalkboard or something and label them or not label them, just have it sitting there. But I thought this would be a nice touch because it's more of like a light wood over there and I've got more like darker wood stuff. Stay tuned for my beauty room tour, you'll know what I'm talking about then. But I've got lots of black over here with the shelves, but not so much black over there. So I thought I would add these, bring some black over there, you know what I mean. So yeah, I got these. I'm pretty sure these are actually $4 each, which is a really good price. So the last thing I got from Kmart, it's called the Velvet Stool Grey. <laughs> I've been wanting this for a while, actually. I think it was about... $20 I want to say, but it is just a black stool. It suits my room really well. It matches the color of my couch, kind of, like these pillows. Um, but yeah, it's just a little seat. So that was the last thing I got from Kmart. That is everything. It's not the biggest Kmart haul that I've done, but it's still a bit. And mostly unnecessary stuff, but you know what, I still continue to buy unnecessary stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Kmart haul, once again another Kmart haul. There'll be another one very very soon, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well. And I'll see you all in my next video.